Hello, 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 and welcome to another edition of Lose It With Zoo. What will we be talking about today? We will be talking about decisions and our life. And I will start by saying there is a saying that we all are familiar with or we have all come across at one point or stage in our lives that goes you can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different result you can't we do that every day we make the same choices the same decisions we go to the same places we interact with the same people and we keep making resolutions and promises to ourselves that we are going to change our lives really how are we going to change our lives when we are doing the same thing we are just setting ourselves up for failure we are setting ourselves up for unsuccess for lack of a better word if failure is a hard word for you to take because seriously if we want to change situations in our lives and we want to change the way we function we want to change the way we think doesn't it mean that we have to do things differently pause and think about that and why am i talking about this because someone had a conversation with me recently and said joy why aren't you married you're a pretty girl you know everything's going right for you but why are you too married what are your thoughts about marriage and i was like yeah, marriage is, you know, I would like to get married, but you know, it will happen when it happens. And he said to me, those are two conflicting thoughts. You can't say, oh, I want to get married. I'm looking forward to get married, you know, and talk about your aspirations and dreams and visions for marriage. And then in the same breath say, it will happen when it happens. Meaning you have two conflicting thoughts and patterns living inside your head. Meaning that on the one part, you want to get married, this is an example, you want to get married, you think about it, you pray about it, you want to take steps towards it, but then on the other hand, you're like, hey, it happen when it happens, meaning I don't necessarily have to put in effort or think too much about it or worry too much about it or make it a priority in my life because i believe it is up to chance to make it happen when he said that to me i, I did pause and like i didn't think about it that way before because i was like yeah it will happen when it happens why should i pressure myself i will continue to live my life you know single mingle and all that but i didn't know that i was allowing to thought patterns take hold in my mind and that's the same way it is for us in our various life decisions oh i want to lose weight yes i want to lose weight oh what would you do to lose weight um i will go to the gym i will eat healthy and you know cultivate healthy habits wake up on time, exercise on time, sleep on time, and all that. But then, halfway through the month, I won't even say the year, um, someone finds you eating chocolate or ice cream or biscuit, and you're like, eh, this one will not kill me now. Ah, is it this one that will be the issue? I beg the way to shall come up, I cannot kill myself. What did you just do? You've started making excuses for why you are not seeing results and setting yourself up for failure and setting yourself up for unsuccess. Let me be nice and say that. So you won't be successful because you haven't put yourself all in into the mindset of I want to lose weight. I want to change my life. I want to pray more often because when we take certain decisions on, and we make up our minds towards achieving certain goals, it requires certain steps from us to move that decision, that thought from I want to, to an actual event that happens. 
and the, the, the movement from, oh, I would like this to happen to act, it actually happen is action. Action on your part. What are the deliberate steps you would take? I go back to weight loss. If I wanted to lose five pounds by next month, what would I do? I would now start counting calories have do strength training, start sleeping early, regulate my sleep, try and take hormonal drugs to regulate my hormones, you know, stress-free, exercise, eat healthy fruits, vegetables, you know, portion control, lower carbs, if I want to throw in intermittent fasting or ketogenic diet, you know, those things, you just throw it in, you know, mix and match, you know, but you are taking steps. You have a journal where you journal what you eat so you can tell that, oh, I have consumed, for example, ice cream, someone's birthday, so I had to have a piece of cake. So what does that piece of cake translate to in the calories I've consumed for the day? Do I have to cut calories? Do I have to, for some of us who feel guilty when we eat cake, we'll have to exercise harder the next time so that, you know, it's, you know, we feel less guilty and we feel like we've burnt out the fat. So what are the steps you are taking to make that want to become a reality in your life? And, and it's, a, it's, a hard, it's a hard truth that we do not face every day and we really need to. And that conversation I had really made me pause and think again and say, okay, so which of these thought patterns that live in my head is the real me or is the real intention that I have for this thing called marriage? And I think we all need to sit down with those want-tos or need-tos that we have written in different journals or notebooks or post-it notes littered around our houses that say, I want to walk here. I want to lose this amount of pounds. I want to, you know, run a marathon. I want to wear that dress. I want to attend that wedding. I want to travel. I want to apply for my visa. I want to relocate. The several I want to, and then ask, ask yourself, do I really want this because I want it? Or I want it because everyone says I should want it or everyone else is wanting it, you know, because there is something about desire, genuine desire. It propels you to take action. I know there are some of us who are like procrastinators are like, nah, this is not for me. I need external motivation to get me to do the things that I need to do. Yes, there's that bunch. But there's the bunch of us who, when we tell ourselves the hard truth, we can tell ourselves and look ourselves in the mirror and say, we want to do this. Stop shortchanging yourself and take the steps to do this. I remember a time that I really lost a, a huge amount of weight. I, I, I was talking to myself every day in the mirror. I was like, Joy, you've told yourself that you are going to do this, this, this. You've paid X amount of money for a gym class, you've bought the clothes, you've done this, your money cannot go to work. So every day was a self-talk to get myself out the door, to wake up early, to do the things that I needed to do to lose the weight that has got me to this point where I am now. Because if I didn't take those steps, I looked at my health, I looked at, you know, my well-being, I looked at the fact that I couldn't wear my clothes anymore and I was finding it difficult to find things to fit me and I, I hated the way I looked. That decision to lose weight was a personal one. I looked myself in the mirror and I told myself some hard truths. I was like, you have to do this. And we all need to come to that point where we look ourselves in the mirror and say, we have to do this. There is no other option but to go down this path, bite the bullet, you know, and make the change. So what am I saying? And what should you take out of this discussion today? Simple. 
have an honest conversation with yourself. Is this what I really want? Or do I want it because everyone else wants it? If you have come to the realization that this want, this need, is something that you truly, truly desire, you definitely need an action plan. And that action plan is doing things that you typically would not have done. So, for someone who wants to lose weight, if you would love to eat cake and chin chin and popcorn and all the sweet things, you would deliberately now look for salads and start by walking up the stairs instead of taking up the elevator, making little changes because it's the little steps and the little patterns that we alter in our behavior that make the ultimate good at the end of the day. We can't say, I want to run a marathon and then go out there and run a marathon when you've not even climbed your stairs twice. You take the elevator. Tell yourself the truth. Look yourself in the mirror. Just after you listen to this, just go look yourself in the mirror and say, what do you really want? Zumofu, what do you really want? And when you have that honest conversation, you take action. And if you do realize that this is not what I really want for myself, this is what everyone else wants for me, then be honest with yourself. Like I said in, in my earlier podcast, why do you want to live the life of a fake? A life that you would hate, a life that you would regret, a life that you would not be proud of. Wanting what everybody wants and when you have it, the irony of it is that when you have it, you hate it because it is not really what you want. So have the courage to tell yourself the truth. This is not really what I want. I don't want it and I don't want it. And then actively pursue those things that you want and those things that you need and those things that would bring you absolute joy we all just need some joy in our life life is hard enough as it is that you have to go through life miserable living the life that you didn't want until next time see ya <laughs>